So you are using AnyDesk to connect to a remote machine, either a new client or a computer that you have successfully connected to before. However, this time the connection starts to initiate, but then after some time you either get an error or maybe you will get a glimpse of the remote desktop and may be able to do a few clicks, but after a second or so the connection drops and you receive an error and the errors may have different texts. For example, the network connection was closed unexpectedly, session closed, the session has ended, status any net closed, the session has ended, status error no 104, network timeout, the network connection has timed out, and there may be some others. So apparently there is some networking problem. This happened to me today, and as a Linux user, by the way, I use Arch, I decided to give Windows a go on this, since maybe it's a Linux problem. So I booted into Windows on the same machine, launched AnyDesk, and still got the same error. So it's not an operating system problem. Apparently it's an internet problem. While still in Windows, I decided to try this setting, which doesn't seem to exist in the Linux version, and that is to remove the Allow Direct Connections tick from the Connection General settings. But that didn't help. The first thing you need to check is that the time on the remote machine is correct. Since most network protocols, especially authentication protocols and encryption protocols, rely on correct date, time and time zone on both the host and the client. So you need to make sure that the time and date and time zone are correct on both machines. If you try to Google this problem online, the most common advice will be to restart the remote computer, restart the remote networking, that may be a modem or a router, and also reinstall AnyDesk on the remote computer. If this was a fortune teller session, this will automatically produce a long voyage tarot card. Since AnyDesk is a remote desktop software, which is very often used to connect to unattended computers. Anyway, in this particular case, there was someone on the remote location, so I called the person and we did restart the PC and also power cycled the router and the error was still the same. Apparently, something is blocking some of the ports used by AnyDesk on the remote machine. The remote machine in this case is a laptop and I used to be able to connect to it when it was connected to the network elsewhere. However, at this new location, there are probably some networking issues. I even disabled the firewall on the remote machine, but it didn't help. However, it turns out that in this situation, you can connect to the remote machine using slash NP after the remote machine ID. In most cases, that will be those numbers that AnyDesk generates, so it will be a numeric ID, but in some cases it may also use some letters. Anyway, what you need to do is just enter the remote ID, then slash NP. The remote ID is the same remote ID you used to connect to that machine, and if you have AnyDesk installed on that machine and it requires a password, and you have this profile saved in your AnyDesk, it will not prompt you for a password again, since it is already saved. Anyway, after I added this slash NP to the machine ID and pressed connect, I was able to successfully establish a remote connection to that machine and use AnyDesk as usual. I am the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.